very interesting that you say that, but I have a slightly different perspective on uh, mentors. There are the mentors who we, uh, who are more obvious and out there, and there are the mentors who we choose for ourselves as well. So, whereas that's not the traditional way of looking at it, there is a, you know, there is an eclavia to everything as well. So for me, uh, I think, uh, whereas I've been very fortunate uh, that to be kind of born in this business and to have learned a lot by just the osmosis of being around creative people a lot and, uh, you know, watching them at their craft and actually develop who they want to be and to see something end to end. Uh, what's also been fascinating is to look across, uh, sometimes just across the border, sometimes further out to the West or to the East and to find inspiration you know, in everything. I think the most important thing for anybody who uh, wants to be in this business is to be open and to be uh, aware of what's happening because you never know where the story is going to come from, whether it's a newspaper article or it is a, it is a book or it is something you saw or something somebody said who wasn't even trying to be there. Um, I've been, um, but to be more specific, I think, uh, I guess my father inadvertently was my first mentor. Uh, just in life skills and uh, the encouragement that uh, I received from him. And uh, then in, in another way, uh, uh, Nagarjuna Garu uh, from Anapurna has been a mentor, he introduced me to, uh, we were working on a movie together that I was producing and he introduced me to this, um, you know, to the South and to understand so many things in the discipline. And I don't even think that today, if you tell him that I consider him to be one of my mentors, he would know that. But, uh, you know, just by sharing your knowledge and by being there for people, there are, uh, you know, you can do so much and there's just so much to learn. Uh, I'll tell you, even like uh, as far as Amala is concerned, uh, the kind of sincerity I saw and learned from her from Blue Cross, which has helped me so much in uh, <laughs> my professional journey. So you never know where the next bout of inspiration is going to come from and sharing is caring is something you learn in like junior KG. It's something you need to remind yourself all the time and be open to. As we say, there are just these many emotions or these are just these many ways of uh, kind of telling a story. But it is your point of view that gives you a unique voice. And that point of view is, you know, what is the most important thing that a filmmaker brings or a writer brings or a director brings or uh, an actor brings, you know, uh, a cinematographer, uh, the reflection that you saw or, uh, you know, on the water today, it could be something you bounce off a glass somewhere else tomorrow. Or in production design, you see a color combination in a temple and then you use it in a nightclub. You know, you never know where that moment is coming from. And uh, I think being open, uh, being open to receiving is something that we must always I just feel that the number of questions that you ask or another thing that I feel that's very important for all creators is the ability to answer questions sometimes easy sometimes hard just to know that it is something that's going to help you refine your thoughts so it's always a great uh, question to start with because it just uh, reminds me of the opportunity that i have to empower people to come out there and tell the story that they want to tell in their best possible way so i guess i would say is that like uh, netflix has um three kind of uh, different buckets, so to speak, that you can look at in terms of sending in content currently. One would be uh, uh, original series, which could be scripted or unscripted. And then you, of course, have the licensing bucket from where we get, uh, you know, uh, films that are already out there or in an off chance series that are already out there. And then you have uh, the original film. So I work on the original film side and I have, um, the great opportunity to read a lot of material that's sent to us on uh, various stages of uh, uh, their uh, creative journey, whether it is a log line or it is just a treatment or it is a full blown script or it's a script in English that needs dialogues right now. And uh, to kind of think that what is it that's going to get the most joy for our members and to make sure that when anybody comes onto the service, they're able to find whatever it is that they're in the mood for. So that material must exist over there. Uh, then uh, we also try and package it together because some of the material comes just from writers, some comes from producers, which is kind of pre-packaged. Sometimes it's a director. Uh, so, and then to kind of help them stay true to their voice, because like uh, we were speaking just before we started off, there is such a, a long journey that any piece of content goes through. 
and uh, i think more often than not and ashok sir you will be uh, the you know uh, the most experienced person in this is that all every choice that you make kind of shepherds your story uh, and you know what it is that you want to say uh in a particular direction so sometimes it's important to have somebody who's kind of watching you and keeping you true to who you are we'd like to believe that uh, that's the job you can never prepare yourself for that you can just uh, treat it as a privilege uh in the sense of so many people sharing uh, what is a piece of their heart hopefully to them you just try your best it's a lot of human intuition that goes into it and you kind of look at the offering uh more holistically and knowing what is happening in different areas of the of of, of the uh, you know of the streaming service per se you know so what we try to do is that we try to uh, make sure that every uh, you know we reflect as many lives as possible uh through all the various stories and try to stay true to what the material is some things need to be told out in a more uh long drawn out format something need to be told serial uh, you know over various seasons some things can be told in a, in a tight concise film uh, some films need to be franchise so what i think the main role is to find something um the right way to tell the story that will be most fulfilling for the creator as well as for the viewer i think uh, as uh, you know what's really interesting to see is that when we uh, see a lot of the people who have been working for a long time as well suddenly something moves them or affects them and uh, they come out with a completely different side to them like we saw with anurag kashyap and choked uh, you know you're generally used to seeing very gangs of vasaipur and you know those kind of hard hitting things and uh, here he comes with a story which is about a husband and wife and an intimate kind of surrounding in the middle of something that is a very important moment uh, you know in our economic growth and then uh, you have a happy ending everybody is really surprised because he's coming from that point of view or you will have a uh, you know a young director like uh, like neeraj undwani or like anvita dath who's just done bulbul for us uh, who come with a fantastical story and you know i think um, the the beauty of working with so many creative people is that you hear the way that they describe their stories and uh, Anvita has this delightful way of talking about the story she wanted to tell was like she was like I want to make a film which feels like you know sitting in the summer uh with your grandmother on the terrace because she's a north indian girl and um uh, listening to her tell a story so you want to have this very fantastical and yet um you know emotional kind of story that you want to have so the the difference i would like to believe is the courage is the exposure the access to having different ways of coming out and uh, saying your story because now we have yet another form of get of being able to uh, reach out to people and to get an emotional uh, reaction out of uh, them we generally invite uh, any sort of submissions with uh, as much clarity as possible and authenticity as possible uh we uh, need you to send your material to a, a website uh, to a email id and uh, from there we have a team and the team then starts going through all the material and we try and like get to everything uh we have a very robust industry uh, in any case so there is a lot and also growing up all of us kind of have enjoyed this we love that whole uh, you know aspect of it and so there are a lot of young people who also want to reach out with things uh, to us and uh, so that's it's kind of a repository we try and get somewhere sometimes it takes us a little longer uh, because you know it is a human process and there's no kind of division that happens it's not it's not that simplistic and then we kind of look at what the material is in conjunction with everything else that's happening at that moment in time and uh, sometimes we lose out on some things that Uh, would have been you know interesting to do on a, at another moment in time but largely the idea is to think about the entire service and how it is that we can be there for our members one word that i learned after joining netflix uh, which is the north star you know when you're lost for direction you look for the north star is something that is told to sailors and uh, very often uh, it's used even on, in common language right so what is the one direction that you want to look for and for us that is always member joy so if it is if it is a story that is going to speak to some of our members and make them really happy 
uh, then that's the only reason to kind of go ahead and make that. And by happiness, the fulfillment is not necessarily only a ha 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 laugh out loud. Sometimes the fulfillment is to be moved by something. It's to be challenged by something. So there are different moments in time. I find that myself. There are days when I want to go, or, you know, go onto the service and watch something light like a maska. Then there are some days that I want to go onto the service and see something that I have never experienced, like a ye ballet, which is a story about two young boys from an underprivileged background who became ballet dancers, and it's based on a true story, right? So, in on um, you know, so it it just depends on the frame of mind you're in, and we just want to make sure that no matter what happens. you will find what mood you're in to be represented uh, on the service you know to my mind you cannot make uh, you know you cannot make everybody happy you are not ice cream no so there will be certain things that will speak more because different people have different tastes and uh, different things appeal to them at a different time so i think if the communication success and this is something that it's very interesting that uh, recently i had the opportunity on of being on a panel with a lot of um, with a few of our directors and it was really interesting and rather you might enjoy this that uh, you know uh, there were three women directors and me and one male director so and that was anurag and uh, kashyap and he was like uh, i am so thrilled to be on a panel when i am the only man uh, <laughs> you know and uh, what is what was really beautiful listening to all of them talk about themselves about their work and about each other's work uh, was the fact that eventually what came out to me is that the greatest success for a creator is that if they have the satisfaction of having told their story your idea of success is something uh, one's idea of success i would say not any one person but all of us is different on different days from different content you know it's the impact that you want to make and sometimes we don't see it in the way that we thought it would happen but there are so many other ways in which that piece of content does something for you you know whether it is getting you acclaim somewhere else just because it's not hard you know box office is far easier to understand because it's very tangible what we're talking about but when you are talking uh, about something being on streaming it's got a life forever and people are going to keep finding it and they're going to keep finding it in different parts of the country you know so uh, and different parts of the world for that matter we are in 190 countries you know we put out our content in 30 languages uh, in in subbing and dubbing so you never know who it's going to speak to and uh, so therefore i think success is when you feel that you've told your story in the most authentic and right way because you know that it's going to speak to the right people uh, i don't think we should try and have uh, the same flag posts for for all pieces of content I don't directly work on series, clarify. But I think that the way that everybody looks, because we are very collaborative with, with each other, like we were saying, that we don't uh, look at designing any individual projects. It's mostly about designing the entire service. Uh, so uh, I think they also look for pretty much the same thing. Why does it need to be a show? Uh, why does it? Uh, why do you know what is so compelling for the creator to want to say this story? you know what is it that's going to surprise or delight our members uh and uh, how they're going to eventually put it together the most important thing generally turns out to be how we are able to communicate our thoughts right a lot of us have thoughts which we feel are very relevant but between the process of the first time you think about it to actually getting down to write it in a way that it speaks to many people to then uh, getting the team together then executing the whole thing and then putting it out there there's many areas where we can either build on it or we can actually take away from it so uh, you know that's pretty much i think what uh, uh, anybody in any streaming service in any kind of uh, a format whether it's long form or it's a short form uh, is is going to look for if it's a story that's going to delight and uh, excite people Would say that we don't really work much on labs in the film side of it uh, because it's a limited format and you know you kind of go end to end although what's unique uh, uh, to a large extent in india is that we have various um, sometimes on credits we get to see in in the film side as well that you have a story writer and then a screenplay writer and then a dialogue writer 
yeah. uh, you know, which is not necessarily the case uh, globally where people tend to have a writer. And that's all it is. So in a lot of ways, it's a collaboration. It's about getting uh, all the people on the point of view of the person who's telling the story. So there are certain opportunities, like when you have a lead writer in a series kind of format, kind of leads your writer's room, then there has to be um, a process by which they actually, uh, you know, are able to share their vision and to rally everybody around them. So that's another skill that's now asked off from the writers is to be able to be so clear in what it is that they want that other people can support them to make them make this their story better to tell. Writing across a long format, like a, a like a six episodes or eight episodes, sometimes between 30 minutes to 45 minutes, it's not a one person job. It's something that you need to be able to do in a more holistic fashion. And I think when you, again, going back to what I said earlier, you know, you stress test your ideas, you stress test your communication when you are asked questions. Right, you know that this person is as invested in your content as you are. They are as invested in the success of what you're doing as you are. They have as much a stake as you have. So all they want to do is for the betterment of it and building good trust, I think is the most important thing when you're working, not just in a writer's room, I'll say, because you know, there is this vision in a director's mind of the shot that he's going to take. He has to trust that the DOP gets it, right? And then the frame will look like that and the lighting will be like that. And your production designer will make sure that, uh, you know, it kind of blends into the color schemes that he saw in his mind. And your costume designer is going to make sure that because that's the beauty of doing an audiovisual medium is that you have to get a lot of people buy in. Here it just starts a little earlier than what you typically expect. It's pretty much the same way. All our content is what we receive uh, onto our uh, email IDs. And then, uh, you know, we kind of then decimate it to the right person who looks into that uh, particular, who's supposed to be the expert in that, uh, you know, who has a bigger global view on what's happening. It's really encouraging to see the resurgence of the documentary, uh, even in India and of course, globally. You know, what happens is that uh, it's it's a very weird thing, uh, but it kind of becomes part of the zeitgeist. We also now have the top 10 uh, list in uh, on, on the service itself, which gives you an indication of how uh, content is performing. And I think that's uh, part of what a lot of our uh, filmmakers enjoy, is that not to have that tension of what is my first show, uh, you know, recovery, what is my uh, TRP and uh, stuff like that. And you kind of get a sense of uh, the success of it. In fact, uh, I think uh, the, the strange thing will be that if you ask even in the audience, you know, for everybody to say, what do they think are the five, uh, three biggest hits on streaming? Uh, you will find that there's a lot of overlap in the stuff that they come up with, even though they do different things. I, I wouldn't say that you have to change your mindset. I think you have to be true to what it is that you want to tell, right? If you are trying to, it's it's like when a when when a writer in 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 print, like an author, uh, decides whether they're writing a short film, uh, a short story, or you're writing a, a novel, you know, writing like a multi generational saga. It's about what you have to share in that story and how much time that takes for you to be able to tell your story. That's about it, right? Your communication, the fact that you're a director or you're a writer or you're in any other part of the crew. Uh, is is pretty much about being true to that story. So to my mind, yes, of course, the, the, when you're doing a series, it's more of a marathon. It takes longer. You've got to think across things. But then that should be based on the fact that the story needs to be told across things. You've thought of something that's so complex. There are characters that you want to dive into. There are, you know, it's not necessarily always plot driven. So that's the format in which you're talking, right? You can kind of have explorations of characters when you're doing a, a long term series or like if you saw the, the uh, you know, if, if you see uh, a lot uh, like The Crown, right, that we that we do on Netflix, we are generationally exploring while we're following the story of one person, right? But we go into the mindsets and where they are at what point in time when they come into something like that. But when you see a, a, a series like, say, a Jamtara, you are talking about something that's more kind of plotty, but you still get to go into the stories and the mindsets of what they're doing. But when you come onto a feature film, you are kind of end to end and you can't really go into, uh, you know, you don't have that time 
and that style is different so i would encourage especially uh, you know when you're new to try and work in as many formats as you can and just know that what you're trying to do is to tell your story in the most effective manner and that's the only thing that you need to think of and not get bogged down by thinking that oh you know what it's it's something that's got to go on streaming so it's got to be this particular type or it's something that's going to go in the theater so it's got to be this particular type your audience is available to you on several ways in 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 several um, uh, quantities of time and as long as they're engaged with you uh, people binge watch 8 hours of a of a show also and people don't sit through more than 10 minutes of a film also i would say resilience is the cornerstone of all creative people because your resilience is tested constantly whether it is tested over writing eight episodes or whether it's tested over writing one screenplay or it is tested over making sense of the documentary or when you get into edit you know it's there is a certain resilience that you need to have as a creative person to be able to go out there and share your thoughts and have people have opinions on something that you believe in so deeply i think reject is a very strong word and i think you take that very personally uh uh in the sense of look your story needs to be speaking to me in that exact moment right of time that we are colliding so to speak at that point there are many other things that are there in a in a um, uh, in the ecosystem that you are working on simultaneously some things may be having an overlap some things may not have an over uh, an exact overlap but emotionally they have the same they're fulfilling the same need uh, there are things that are we feel are better told sometimes in a longer format which come to us as a film sometimes there are things that go to the longer format side which they send to us and say hey you want to look at this as a film instead so there is a lot of um, you know planning for the programming that we actually do uh, it's not something that's a whim and a fancy that's decided but yes i will say pl- plagiarism is a sure shot way of getting re- uh, rejected uh if that's the word to be used but if uh, you know if something is inauthentic or is uh something that is being done for the sake of being done because you think that's how it's going to work then that come out comes through you know in 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 the story because i guess it's also the amount of material that we're reading uh that you can always uh, you get a sense of how uh honest you know what is the motivation uh for doing this uh, which is something that i find like uh, also like i personally don't give a brief of saying that oh we are looking for a comedy or oh, we are looking for a thriller because then people try to write to what they think you want rather than writing what they want to do so sometimes it fits in every uh, uh, you know all art has its own kind of destiny in the moment that it's going to uh, you know find its fruition sometimes you need to uh, i i remember like zoya akhtar was writing luck by chance for 10 years and then she was 10 days away from starting another project uh, when the leading man kind of stepped out of the project and she pivoted and went back to the story of luck by chance which she had been developing and had thought it was never going to get made and made it with her brother because the time for that had kind of you know come in or like you see uh, that's another thing i will tell you guys because a lot of people tend to admire her work is that she never gets her first choice of casting she always gets rejected for her first option for casting uh you know on bigger smaller and the kind of people who have uh, uh you know passed on doing something uh, as actors you will be surprised uh you know that you would think that oh you know somebody like this would definitely want to work with somebody like her but uh, that story doesn't speak to them at that moment that doesn't mean she's not going to make a great film and that doesn't mean the other person is not a great actor right it's just about the moment in which everything needs to kind of come together and somewhere you need to believe that and to know that like like we were saying earlier like finishing a film is the greatest success telling your story is the greatest success and that leads to the next thing there's no uh you know as, as a creative person there is no you know the it's your journey it's your mind it's your sharing it's not about getting somewhere like it's not like today uh, to speak in terms of box office that oh you made a film that made 500 crores globally and then what you still need to start with an idea for your next film you still need to convince people about that you still need to make sure that everybody and when i mean convince i know that a lot of young people feel from the outside that oh my god uh, you know it's so easy once you made a successful film you can put it together 
uh, put the next thing together. Certain things are simpler, like people have more trust in you, but you still need your DOP to believe in your vision. You still need your writer to communicate what you have to say. So the fact that we are here in the world of content creation, the idea of it is that at some level, we are so driven and then are rather so resilient that we are going to go through this process again and again and it's cathartic for us. Sometimes the, the result is very joyous. Sometimes the result is very painful. Uh, in my earlier life as a producer, I've seen both ends of the spectrum as well. So, <laughs> you know, I think just being able to tell your story in your most true way is the parameter that we need to all gravitate towards. This is the most collaborative art form uh, in, in, uh, that I can think of. You know, this is not a solo piece of music that you write by yourself. This is not a painting that you do alone. This, and, the, and those are very painful processes as well with nobody like being in a well and screaming out, trying to make sure how do you communicate with people when there's nobody to react because everything is just in your head. So every art, you are an artist, you will go through a certain amount of um, emotions. And, uh, you know, that is what makes you an artist, what you do with those emotions and how you turn them into your craft. When you're giving feedback uh, on, on, on scripts or on cuts and stuff like that, it's often, especially with a new writer or a new director, uh, you know, and you can see that difference even in directors who have worked in advertising versus directors who only worked in features or on, on television, is that the ability to take feedback is uh, you know something that we all need to develop. I think that comes with building trust again. What, like I'm saying is that if you know that I am invested in your success and you and I know that you are invested in my success, right? It works well for me if your content goes to maximum viewing, uh, and it works well for you if you reach the most number of people, right? So we have the, the same uh, things that we want to sort of achieve in these situations. Uh, but uh, what is important is, I mean, like while I try not to have my point of view on it and try to maintain the lens that the creator has for it, the creator also needs to understand that is it communicating the way that they are thinking in their head? So it's about communication at the end of the day. If your communication is clear, then the convincing becomes much easier. If you want me to cry at this moment, make me cry. You can't think I should be crying. A, it's collaborative and B, it's something that, uh, especially on the writing side, like it's not just about convincing your peers and the people are going to work with you, right? You have to communicate to the viewer, the person who's watching your film, who has no context, who has not lived with it for 10 years. That person has not gone through that burning journey. That person did not see that visual that's inspired you to do this. That person is just looking at you. And if you're not communicating the emotion, however you choose to do it, in a documentary format, in a series format, uh, you know, with a with a long lens or with like really going macro, that's not important. What's important is how you feel. And that, the rest of it is your style, right? It's what you make people feel, whether you make them feel, it's like all the ras, uh, rasas, right? The ras, rasas of life. You want to go through that roller coaster journey. You're living vicariously when you're watching some content. Some part of you gets touched, something gets reminded. So yeah, yeah. it's about looking at that. And how do you communicate that to the person who's watching uh, is, is, is the best form of communication. And if, if that is going to make the people communicate, you're eventually working with people, right? And they're all buy-in. Then, then that's when the, when the politics of your crew comes into place, where the point of view of your crew comes into place, where the ethos of the people comes together. And that's the team, that's the team building exercise. And that's the, uh, the producer's job. I don't know if you're teaching producing as well. I'm sorry. There is uh, the, the only way that we are doing any sort of shorts is on the anthology format of love stories. And then like we did ghost stories as well. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's a never say never as more people watch and more people discover. And we will see that if this is something that brings our members, uh, you know, that kind of excitement or is of value to them, then I don't know what will happen in the future. We pride ourselves on keeping a year to the ground and listening to what everybody wants. But right now we don't really have... Uh, any special sort of uh, short character. We have this uh, website, uh, which has jobs at netflix.com and uh, it's open for everyone and opportunities are all put up over there. 
uh, right now, uh, like I'm saying, is that everything is in the now and everything is evolving, but we don't really have uh, any internship program. I think it would be, to be very honest, a great organizational skills and a deep love for film. Because it's not only about being, uh, you know, I think oftentimes what happens with producers is that um, we tend to look, or, or, and I include myself in it from my earlier life, that you tend to look at things, you know, it's not about the cheapest, it's about uh, the right sizing. It's about what is best for what the vision is and how to make it all kind of come together. So there has to be a deep love for the material. There has to be uh, not, it's not a bottom line job. It's about, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's about being correct. It's about what is required and what is indulgent and uh, what is compromise. If that, does that make sense? Need to see what is right. Where are we being indulgent and spending for the sake of spending? Is this valuable to the story? Is this meaningful to the person who's watching the story? Is it helping with the story or is it just being indulgent and showing that, oh, look at everything that I have access to? You know, that's one part. And the other part is that if you're really forcing down your director and you're forcing down everybody to bring it down, bring it down, is that going to affect your story? Is that going to take away from the best viewing experience for the uh, you know, for your audience, because eventually, like we say, our members, the audience is the final person that the creator is working for as well, right? You want them to feel what you are feeling at the moment. You want that to communicate. You want them to understand. So while it seems very complex, it's actually really simple. If we all remove our, um, you know, our egos and our conditioning and just sometimes focus on that, and just you know, cut out all the noise. There's a lot of noise nowadays. What we need to learn how to do better is to cut out the noise. Uh, you know, there are we are always very excited to hear the new voices that there are. Uh, there is obviously a certain cadence and stuff that we are at. So sometimes things take time. Sometimes we have a blind spot, perhaps. You know, and we're happy always to hear. Uh, uh, you know, what new ways we can look at getting together. But uh, we are committed to having a, a lot of diversity of storytelling. That means a lot of diversity of storytellers in various forms. So uh, that is something that, uh, you know, we can definitely keep talking about and keep engaging on. You know, it's something that we learn every day. Nobody really knows anything, but just be authentic self and just believe, you know, success doesn't look like a particular thing because if you ask 10 people they're all going to tell you that success is different uh, for all of them so if you just know that you know that's the one thing that is going to help you stay true to what you want to be I think we need to be clear about what it is that we want to do and it doesn't mean that what the world perceives is the same thing that you need what you need to do is to be authentic self and tell your story because you have the power to change the world and the only person standing in your way is you <music>